Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, the course of uh, Data to Analytics using Hadoop, Spark and Tableau. And uh, uh, for this, we need to set up something called Cloudera Quick Start VM so that you can practice the way I, am, I will be demonstrating uh, uh, in the future videos. So for that, there are certain prerequisites which you need to take care on your PC or Mac. You need to have a laptop of 16 GB RAM that is mandatory, at least uh, uh, i5 but preferably i7 quad core and also storage if you have SSD the performance will be better. If you don't have SSD then it will be a little bit slower side but 16 GB RAM is mandatory for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the task we are going to perform. We can have either Mac or PC but on those things either you have to use the virtual box or VMware workstation if it is PC. For Mac you need to use virtual box or VMware fusion. So we are, uh, it's very straightforward to download these tools. For virtual box you can go to Google and say install virtual box on Mac and hit enter and uh, you can uh, actually go here mac os sex build instructions oracle vm virtual box either you can use mac ports or go to downloads and uh, you can actually click on this link virtualbox 5020 for OSX hosts and you can click on this one you can uh, click on save file it will be downloaded and you can uh, uh, install after that then you can say virtualbox in this case I have 5016 let me download this latest version also for you so save file so I am downloading it for Windows you just have to click on this link and install it either you can have uh, virtual box which is free or if you are familiar with VMware for Mac you have to set up VMware Fusion ok you can click on this and there it is free for one month after that you have to pay I think around $79 or $69 uh, for this uh, version of VMware Fusion. And VMware Fusion uh, once you download and uh, enter the license and when you open it will look like this. Whereas VirtualBox uh, we will see once it is downloaded. It will take another 2 minutes to download. So uh, the VirtualBox is downloaded. We can just click on it to install. Now it is uh, opened and once you see this window you have to drag this and drop into applications and then you can oh actually I have to double click on the icon and then run the virtual box application from the application folder so I have to actually double click on this we should not uh, drag and drop into the applications here once you double click you will it will start installing uh, uh, the virtual box on the mac so it is asking uh, which directory we should use to create the vms so i will be choosing uh, no there is something uh, okay i just you just have to hit the cancel i think that one came up because i have dragged and dropped into application that is not the right way to do that you just have to double click this and then you will see this window continue and then hit continue and then click on install enter your laptop password and then it will install the virtual box on your mac once the installation is done you can click on close and go to applications and here you will see the virtual box and you can double click on this to see um, uh, to open the virtual box 
okay before actually starting uh, because i already have the virtual box and uh, i want to see whether it is upda upgraded or not and i can see that it's 5020 version now so i will be using this going forward so this is how you can set up the virtual box we will see how to uh, download the cloudera quick start vm for, for virtual box and uh, open it using virtual box and also i will show you how to do it on the vmware after as part of the setting up the environment later but these are the prerequisites you need to keep in mind either you have to uh, have vmware workstation or virtual box on pc or vmware fusion or virtual box one of them on mac you don't need to have both uh, vmware products are uh, licensed whereas virtual box is absolutely free and uh, it is absolutely important that you have 16 gb ram to uh, to perform the tasks which i will be showing as part of this course and um, then uh, i7 quad core is recommended with ssd that being said i hope you are enjoying the content of this playlist or of this course if you like it please provide the feedback or like it on uh, youtube video and uh, if you um, if you want to provide the feedback please do so in the comment section of the video in youtube or in udemy it will take uh, it will make me to improvise on the course uh, or the future courses and if you want to discuss further about big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time and also please stay tuned on udemy so that i upload lot more courses in future um, like this thank you bye